How you getting on? Today I'm in the, well, this evening I'm in the sky. Still April, but it's a scorching evening, so I thought I'd take a wee chance and come in for a couple of the outliers in the cooling. Just the mountain rescue hut down there, Glen Brittle campsite down there, and the route ahead up there. I haven't decided where I'm going yet, but I'm going to head over. Skir Jerig, the inaccessible pinnacle area and or across to I've done Skir Alistair and that so we'll leave them but Skir Mishanish is just behind there too so we'll see how we go time wise but I'm hoping it's, it's light for a while tonight because this is quite late Beautiful views eh? So you have to reveal you come to this spot that takes you up Score Jerig, an accessible pinnacle. You can continue here up into the next quarry for Score Alistair and Score McConish. Started to climb now. You can see the mountain rescue hut down there. Glen Brittle campsite. <laughs> Spinning round to the youth hostel. And still pretty warm for this time of evening. And that's a route ahead. That'll take us on to the spur. It's getting a wee bit rockier now. Some hands on scrambling needed, some bits. And up to the first wee press there. Fantastic, eh? can just make out the semblance of the other path there just down there to be lock on it catches the main track there and meanders up there and into the next quarry so this was giving the illusion of the fin but it's actually behind there there's a man up at it just now so we go round this buttress here and then we'll get our first view of the inaccessible pinnacle the route travelled so far now we're on some bigger boulders. Just got to go over this little cleft. Another dramatic reveal shot coming up. Square making each there in the middle. And Square Alistair prominent in the centre with all the spikes and gnarly rock. They're not done yet because. Big scree shoot there. Skewer my conic, skewer doof behind. And our fin is just hiding behind this pinnacle here. This is the shortest route up. <laughs> If you're any good at rock climbing. It's a shame they didn't leave me the rope there, I could have went up this side. <laughs> Another view from down behind it, the side, sorry. And that's the fin there. Yep. And 
this is the view around it. straight back down to here.
any loose rocks in this team. Is that right? Oh yeah. There's so many compared to the last visit. It's like children's teeth. Yeah, We're just yeah, quite a lot of loose rocks, eh? Tough to do. Wow. for us and there's the view a wee bit shattered after that Pull in a rope. I need some water, eh? Forgot to say that the coolings is uh, not the best for water at the top. So when you find it, make the most of it. Another wee look back up the descent route. I'll tell you one thing, I have learned that these scarpa boots, three season, four seasons, big thick soles are the best that I've had for dealing with the scree. They are bomber, they support you, give you grip and it's worth keeping an old pair of them just for the coolings. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. And there we are, 
almost down off all the shrapnel bit there. I don't think there's an easy route down there. I wonder what that is, that green thing there, eh? Zoom in on that later. And down to about 400 metres now. I'm just going to follow that stream, but we're going to get a right good thirst quencher in it first. Find a nice wee water source. Excellent. Turns out a wee pool there, I would probably have a swim there if it was uh, overheating again. Well this seems as good a place as any to finish this video. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Thanks for watching us on today's experience. Again another memorable one for me. Um, not forgettable, definitely not. Especially with the mishap coming down in the abseil route. Whew. Um, anyway, we didn't panic and we managed to get off quite safely, but I'll be getting another harness. Um, the exposure on the other side, the strong winds made it very, very um, difficult and extreme caution required this time again. Um, but thankfully rocks were dry, good stable holds. A couple of loose rocks this time, gave us a wee fright near scare. Um, but anyway. It was beautiful up the top, great to get the summit. Of course, I let everybody else abseil before me because <laughs> I had knots in my rope. What a pie. Anyway, I enjoyed the experience and I hope you enjoyed the footage too. And um, it's up to yourself how you tackle the pinnacle if you're lucky enough to get the chance to come here. Uh, the guide's the way to go. You get tied up, you get protection, you get security. Um, but if you've got a bit of experience in rocks and scrambling and comfortable with ropes and exposure, Pays your money takes a chance. Thanks for watching and uh, take care, be safe, and I'll see you the next time, eh? ATB. Oh, yeah, she sees me now. Eh? Not even bothering me. Eh? I think I better keep back from them. <laughs> oh, startled them now. Some excellent path restoration work up here. Fantastic, what a difference. Here you've got solid terra firma, it drains well. Excellent job. Hello. And this is pretty much intact as the midriff buckle here with the belt positioned through the buckle. Now as you can see it does slip. It does slip. So to prevent it slipping you need to pull it tight. And then thread the strap back through the buckle. And that way it's a bomber, <laughs> so to speak. But I'm suspecting that when I put it on, either I didn't complete that part or there wasn't enough strap fed back through, therefore it's worked its way loose. Given that my extra weight since COVID. <laughs> But no harm done this time um, because we had the backup of the leg straps being connected to the centre axis. Um, it was just a case of making sure that we didn't lean back too far or it wouldn't have been a sit in harness, it would have been a lie down harness. Anyway, I'm just showing you that for a bit of feedback. And don't be buying the harness on eBay. Ha, ha, ha.